can't take no with a drip drip mind too tight Put socks on the rock, look who a crook I grew up poor, I had to hustle, be mature That's my point of view That's my point of view It's your girl Gigi Lemain, aka Inko Sazania Sekasi. But in 2024, I would like to go by the name New Age Cleopatra. Here we go. And welcome to yes. an episode of KLB. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm super worried because today, can you hear it's like, hey, 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 come on, man. They brought the deep voice. Why would I come this morning? What's what's the what's that? We got the deep voice. But you know voice. what I'm really excited about? <laughs> yeah. Bay and I, my mm. the one with the fresh cuts, the Ooh. one with the clear skin. <laughs> Yeah. We finally have a space to our own. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Our own home. Our own home. <laughs> kick, doing, kick the kids out. Slim. My wild card. Been yes. trying to tell you. Yes. Been trying to tell you yes. I'm with it. I'm with it, baby. Shout out to Slim the wild card. Shout out Slim. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah. No complaints. Mm -hmm. The summer was fun. Spent way too much money. I didn't know who I think I was. Who did you spend it on? Who? What, Gigi? Oh, what okay. did I spend it on? Right. I refer to uh, okay. <laughs> What's now? Sorry. Oh, my oh, goodness. I was in oh, Cape Town. I was in Cape Town. I was in Cape Town. I was in PE with family, right? With my brother. Made me think about starting a family. And then I left, mm -hmm. right? And then I went to Cape Town and I realized I'm actually good. Like, actually, I'm good. You, did? <laughs> you were in Cape Town I'm, I'm way too long. I'm still in my lane. I'm in my lane. Yeah, I'm in my I, lane. I, I found you like... um um. Yeah, you were having lots of fun. So I was. I got very jealous. Man. I I, I was, was just making sure no one was near you. There's something I want to. I have so many questions for you guys. I've been through. I've been through. I've been through <laughs> a lot. Oh. I have questions. Do you know how I know I'm gonna have a good year? Uh, talk to me. What's happening? Talk to me. So like. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. Oh. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, getting, I'm getting into mm -hmm. it. Right? Okay. It's literally like top two dead or alive. Mm. Men in Gubani. Mm. Oh, yeah. Obviously, you got the yeah, track. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. <laughs> and you. Oh, wow. Tower of Miti is on yeah. POV, yes. which you yes, and I. Yes, ma'am. Yes, right? ma'am. And <laughs> Thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> like, I love you. I need to tell you that my favorite role. <laughs> That you ever play was like Kalushi, like okay. Kalushi, of course, solo mode. I'm an ex fifty, so you understand what's happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I find mm. out that my favorite actor in South Africa, you actually a cancer like me. Yeah, I'm a yeah, I, I was born on the seventh of July. Seventeenth. I know, nineteen eighty eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. Yeah, this, this is this is cute. And you what know, cancers, cancers, by the way, just out of. So you know what I? I, I think it, <laughs> I'm just. I heard it in the Drake song. No, can so I it say, has to be can true. Can I say this about cancers? I feel like uh -huh. it's the most unfortunate star sign. It's two diseases. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. crabs and cancer. Okay. <laughs> so it's just like, I don't go around bragging. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. But oh my like, goodness. I feel like we're nurturers. Like we're really nice people. Mm -hmm. Charlemagne the God is a cancer. Bonang Matema is a cancer. 50 Cent is a cancer. 50 Cent? Burner yeah. Boy. Burner Boy. And let me just so say... So you guys so are basically a roller coaster. I was about to say, we're everything. Like, okay, what would you say is the worst? The worst uh, the star sign? Like the, the star the sign you should killer. not... The pits of hell. Yeah, what's the... Sagittarius, I got a bad... Sag, me too. Sagittarius, pits of hell. I agree. You're definitely cancer. I agree, though. Pits of hell. I get it. I think everybody got a problem with Sagittarius. I get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You all have a Sagittarius... Dark story. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of, course, of course. And they're the victims in that story. <laughs> All the time. You the bad guy. We'll gaslight you. Mm. We'll gaslight you. But how are you doing, man? How are you doing? How's I'm, your summer? I'm good, man. Uh, summer's been good. It's been grand. It's been it's been very fruitful. And I'm actually mm. thanks thanks for having me. I'm actually a fan of both of you guys. Wow. Like, uh, wow. Uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> I think with Slim, before I get to you, because I always say the best life, Slim, people don't know this about Slim, which is such an important thing. Mm. He's running an underground railroad of just bringing <laughs> young black boys like P. Diddy all the way up to Joburg, <laughs> you know, and putting them in entertainment. That's so um, but, but, but no, on, on the real, yeah. what Slim does is he takes young black boys uh. that are, and young black kids <laughs> that are trying to hustle in Cape Town in the film industry, mm. yeah. and he literally gives them a bed. He gives them his own couch. Yeah. A lot of the kids yeah. in here are from that. Uh, yeah. I've hired two of the guys yeah. from there. You yeah. know, so. I was wondering why it's turning into like Matatiela. <laughs> <laughs> But he's a he's what oh. I call a, hip, a hood hero, like yeah, you know, like yeah. somebody who goes that side and then brings the hood with him. So yeah. I, he knows I've got such a big admiration for him. So yeah, like, thank you, man. It's thank amazing. you. And it's crazy. We've been meaning to yeah. have this conversation. <laughs> really? So that's why when you send me the text to say, do you? 
I was like, what are the odds? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. what are the odds? But man, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I appreciate bless, that. Bless, and I'm bless, a huge bless. fan. No. And everything you've done with Ali also, man, oh, man. Just getting... I mean, he works with one of the guys I brought from Cape Town. Yeah. Okay. Right, to say, yo, come to Joburg. Um, I'll Is put it? a roof over your head. Listen. And then and I'll him. feed you. Yeah. And then from the rest, you kind of like figure it out. Right? And I'll always say, I, I may sound like the hero in that mm-hmm. story, but sometimes... You don't know what that other person does for you, but you putting a roof over, I'm putting a roof over his head and food, but this person's making sure like my sanity is on a hundred. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And I feel like sometimes we work harder when we have other people to Mm. take care of. Mm. You know what I mean? So for for what you've been doing with Ali, man, it's absolutely I mean, Ali's a blackie photographer now. Yeah. Yeah. So the the progression is like really crazy. It's crazy how it comes full circle. Crazy and then also. you, <laughs> let me tell you this. I am mm-hmm. like, I'm a drunken owl, <laughs> drunken drunk online. Um, mm. I'm a massive hip hop fan, like, I'm a big, like, South African, yeah. Hip-hop fan. Like, yeah. I, I prefer hip hop from SA. I've been a hip hop fan. I'm wow, old. so fun too, guys. Like, I was, I went to go visit Slaches and, and the Gandhi Square and all that stuff like that. So, I, and I still am, so I train mm. every movie. I train to like South African hip hop cats. Like, that's are my you playlist. serious? My pl- playlist, like I think for I can name a character based on what I was listening to. I could tell you, Silverton Siege was blacky, pretty ugly. When they was still what? Like, come up skinny blacky, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lucas raps at the time, so I'm a massive fan. Of are you being serious? Huge. I, we can talk hip hop for like the next sixty years. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, so, so I've tracked you since literally day one. Like. um so much so I'm not the kind of hip hop fan like, rap, I, rap. like for example aka Kino Forbes like do it yeah. do it uh-huh. I tracked him from that song I'm like who's this all the way to his career no now. way same with Gigi man wow. the first Jeez. time I heard it was ice cream but the first time I saw you wasn't really ice cream mm. I didn't know you rapped you used to uh, host gigs uh, in Brown you Day. hosted gigs yeah 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 she was like huh? this what shop <laughs> <laughs> she was this like fiery shop and then uh, what I remember at the time, like also like hip hop is like come through like a very weird stage where it became popular. Yeah. And back in the day, we used to get beaten up for it. Yeah. And Jeez. then bar for bar, I'll say this with ease. I think you probably are top five. I'm not saying female, I'm just saying rapper. God damn, bar talk bar, to him. Rap. No, no, for real. For get real. your like, flowers, baby. Raps, you know? And <laughs> so I, I always, when people ask me who's the best female MC, I like, I don't really like to get in all of that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm like, no, no, no. But if you're gonna talk, if you want to separate in that, yeah. I gotta put Gigi number one. Oh come mm-hmm. on! And talk this is for him. someone who listens to Godessa, One Time, you all those people. Mm. Yes. Because this generation, bar for bar, yeah. Yeah. lyric, I, I'm a massive fan. Thank so, you. Yeah. And I'm dropping you music. Oh, fuck oh yeah. Yeah. come on! Like Let's proper hip hop, nice hip hop. Like, yeah. like, can we swear? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we, we can. Absolutely. We can. Yeah, I swear like a lot. Yeah. Thanks for having me. But my song was good. That that means a lot. Like I'm. Listen, you my favorite actor, so you saying that about me? Like you just put me on so. Like, so, so, so bad. Um, I need to ask something because every time I've seen you kind of, you know, act and, you know, hold these major roles, um, I don't know if it, if it's a thing with creatives, but would you say that you're a bit of a, a loner? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. a hell of a loner. Mm. I wouldn't say I'm a loner. Like, uh, yeah. mm. I think uh, I have the same friends I had in primary school. Like, uh, once I say I love you, I mean it forever. Mm. Kind of kind of doing mm. the cancer side. But, mm. like, um, <laughs> I'm still friends with the same guys that I've always grew up mm. with. Mm. I stick with those guys. I know those guys. I know their mothers. Like, it's hard for me to mess with you if I don't know your mom mm. a lot of the time, you know? Mm. So, I, if, if you and I mess up, we need to be able to, like, check each other. So, yeah. 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 Um, I'm not great in big, loud, I don't go to awards or anything like that. It's just like, it's a bit uh, intense for me. Mm. But yeah, but I, I like people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just don't like being in crowds. Yeah, so, yeah, Crazy, considering that yeah. there's so many eyes on you all the time. Yeah. I don't know about that. I, I live pretty freely. I don't know. I walk around. I love Dude, walking. Dude, but people know you. Everyone knows Yeah, you. but then they come and they greet you. They're yeah. like, nobody's trying to like rob me or jack me or nothing like that. Yeah. Uh, people generally are respectful. So yeah, no. Nah, um, I, I, I don't like crowds i don't like mm. yeah yeah but yeah but i'm good yeah. can i ask with the with the acting space how do you how do you prepare to oh. say okay cool yes uh, i'm preparing mm. for this movie mm. what's your can you take us through your process oh, um usually i start with the body so that's my okay favorite. well 
when it depends which director I'm working with. So if I'm if I'm playing like a real life character, mm-hmm. um, uh, with the director that I usually work with a lot, Mandla Dube, he, mm-hmm. he gave me this great thing that we do now. I mean, Samba's your partner, so we go to Whoa. the grave of the person whose story we're telling. No way. And then ask permission no to tell the way. story with their relatives. Stop. So we go with their relatives. Nah, stop. And stop. Then we do that for you serious? Did it for Solomon I did it for the Silverton Sea Trio. If it's a real person, then we go there. That's the first thing. Silverton was that. No, Bella. <laughs> I was just cool. Oh, no, no, no. oh, she was my senior. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. Wow. When I saw that with all the marketing oh, coming out, I'm just like, no yeah, way. Yeah, I love my shit. So, Neham yeah. Banyo Pasha, you ask for uh, the strength of focus. Well, first, the permission. Yeah, Before permission. Mm. And, you know, I know we don't receive it, but the fact that we're there with the family, we won't mm. also tell the story without the family. Mm. The immediate family, not everybody mm. else who's trying to... Because like, <laughs> everybody sees a check now. On yeah, the scenes. yeah. But, like, we go with, like, the blood relatives. We ask them for permission. They guide us to... It's and we do the whole thing. Uh, you know, Gumbuji, mm. Mbepo, all that stuff like mm. that. And then, yeah, like mm. like And then once mm. we feel like... We're, a, we're peaceful and we'll mm. the energy. So with Silverton, so you talk about that, like the next stage is my body. So if I ha- we hadn't gone to your path, like, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have heard ooh, like the, the, the character who I play his daughter mm. talk about and describe her father. She's, mm. I remember she said when my dad died, all these big bodybuilders carried his coffin across <sighs> the hood. And then she's like, yeah, he was a boxer. He even slapped this uh, white lady in a hospital. Jeez. And then I was like, oh, he was a boxer. You yeah. know so then my mind was like, Okay, even though mm. we're not using the guy's name, but mm. like all of a sudden I can have a picture of him, and that's how I start yeah. building. Mm. And I speak to them. Um, once I get an understanding of who the character is, then like like with Solomon and a lot of the other characters as well. So these mm. are the real people. Mm. With Solomon, I got to hang with his brother and his family after Pahla. But what's tricky is that so you're wild. only a certain version of somebody yeah. with yeah. that person. So for okay. example, what you that pick is up wild. is like this guy said that to me. Yeah, like a oh. day ago, yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry, wow. sorry, no, sorry. No, no, yeah. no, but it's the truth. And I picked it up from acting because I'd ask Solomon, like, yo, uh, does Solomon have girlfriends? He's like, no, he didn't have girlfriends. I'm like, oh, you only know this version of him because <laughs> he sees you as a father figure. Yeah. And I asked the, the homie, he's like, yeah, of course I got a girlfriend. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's true with all your friends. Mm. That's true of every human being. So when people speak of you, they're only speaking of you of that side of you. Of that know. version mm. that you version. show them. And you, all of us present certain versions. Like true. right now, true. I don't know the version of you when you're at home. Yeah. When, you're when, you're when I'm I don't cycle. Know, yeah. Can I ask, why do you think we do that? Oh, we're all actors. So acting, that's what I love. Thanks for asking that question. I think everyone's an actor. Me too. Survival. What? We can't survive yeah. without group dynamics, right? We so can't survive without group dynamics. We, do, we have nothing physically to make us competitive animals at all. Mm. What makes us competitive is our group dynamics. Right? Mm. We move as a unified society. Yeah. In numbers. Like if ants were our size, they would rule this kingdom, this world, right? And we're yeah. Right so we realize really it's like, it. I'm jumping around, like mm. toxic masculinity. I try to explain it like this. It, mm. where, where it comes from, right? Ooh. No, no, where it comes from. Welcome is to this. the show. <laughs> <laughs> but we, m- men need to go hunting together, right? From the, the yeah. hunter-gatherer thing, mm. yeah. men need to go hunt. That means mm. they need to go outside mm. and go fight a big animal. And most likely one of them is going to die. Yeah. Try to do this. Yeah. So that means we don't have to like each other to be mm. able to work well with each other. Yeah. Because if we if there's a weak link, this animal will kill us. Yeah. So we realize, okay, listen, I don't know where you're from, whatever you're from, but let's go, bro. We gotta yeah. Go. So men know how not to get along with each other and still achieve a goal. I'm not saying yes. women can't mm. do that, but I'm saying we kind of carried on that ability to yeah. whether or not I agree with your perspective, I can still be in your circle. I can mm. still agree with you, and that's one version of that man. So mm. I think we do that for those reasons. And there's too. other versions mm. as well. Okay. Mm. Sorry, you were you were uh, talking yeah. about your process. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Process. Process. Yes. Sorry. Anyway, so I go from learning about the character with the family, mm. then I'll go hit the gym. I'll either lose weight, whatever, grow mm. hair, show mm. hair, nails, whatever. Uh, while I'm reading about as much of these characters as I can, mm. Mm. Uh, understanding the world. I played a marine once, so I just wanted to speak to real marines. Mm. You know, and then when you speak to real marines, you see that they're not these brave guys like bro i was shit of myself with him. Okay, really like, i like that okay cool. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, no. uh. and then i do all that prep and when i get to set i do nothing i don't um i don't get too deep in it i learn mm. the words just like briefly mm. uh i let go so i prepare 50 percent and 70 percent i leave to them what is the most challenging like you have to lose a whole lot of weight like, mm. big rolls like. <laughs> I mean, he was—he's still playing himself. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Congratulations, like, you played yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny guy. So I 
mean, what what was the most like? This was a lot. Like, no, not no. a lot, but I mean, you still got paid. Yo, yeah, yo, it was listen, too much. Let me, let me. I'm not one of those. Uh, I know people think I'm like deep or whatever. Man, mm. I'm, I'm pretending to be somebody else. It's not that real. You know what I mean? It's mm. like mm. I, I don't. It's not difficult. And by yeah. saying it's not difficult, it has challenges, and I mm-hmm. have to. But it's not something that brings me anguish. Any challenge I, is exciting. Then I'm like, mm. oh, now I get to do that. And there. Mm. Uh, but I'm not a surgeon that if something goes wrong, someone dies. Mm. Yeah. You know, I'm not a soldier. I'm not a police officer. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm living a very privileged <coughs> life of being able to tell stories for a living. Mm. You know, um, I, outside of the industry itself, the, the challenge in the art is, is non-existent. If you're an artist, you can create. You don't need permission to do that. You can create mm. whatever you are. So. And I've never, I can't say I've had a, a challenge ever or it's been too difficult now. No role. Yeah, Nothing. no role. That is crazy. And there's clear, clearly a niche for you. So I mean, I yeah, wouldn't I see you on a on a telenovela. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting people say because yeah. people think I do apartheid movies. I'm only actually. <laughs> <I've> done <laughs> You've yeah. done silver twenty. That's it. I've done two. Right? No, but I've like got like one. maybe fifty creds. Yeah. Okay, right? okay. That people don't know about because. Mm-hmm. So what happens in the game, especially locally with the acting game? Um, there's two sort of, there's three or four sort of sectors. There's like theater, mm-hmm. then there's television, okay. and then in telev- then television, Ooh. and then there's local film. Yeah. Then there's international. Yeah. Then there's international television, international film. Yeah. Um, so, and all of them have their merit. All of them are like, yeah. good, you can get paid from all of them. Or yeah. It's theater, less so. So, for example, myself, Bonko, uh, Bonko, uh, Koza, Lim. But we started off in the international space. So okay. we were doing like Homeland. Like I got my first American agent from like doing a spot. Because they shoot a lot of uh, shows from around the world here in Cape Town. Mm. Oh, yeah. So certain actors that don't really translate at the time, me, Bongo and Lemo didn't really translate yeah. to local TV. Mm. Yeah. We were trying to, but they're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Um, so we, I, I like, I probably like worked so much just doing international parts. I've worked with some incredible actors. Yeah, I've worked with Meryl Streep. I've worked. Whoa! With, yeah, yeah, like come amazing. on, like come you know, on, real Jeff Bridges. Talk to me, Daniel Radcliffe. Come on, uh, you know Bill Paxton. So it, before I even you saw me on, don't so, laugh at me, right? Daniel Radcliffe is Harry Potter. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I've got a great story, but I'm not Jeez. Tell about it. Uh, guys, breathe tell it. it in. Nah, tell it. Nah, 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 nah. Tell it. Only <laughs> I don't know if he's if told this part of his story. Yet. Yeah, I would, I would, <laughs> you won't do that. I would tell you. I would but I mean, Meryl Streep is, is like mm. is, is a serious flick. So yeah. that's like you Nicki know what I'm Minaj. saying. Like, Jeez, Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Yeah. Would you would you say with the with the because I, I like how you compared the, the theater yeah. to local mm. to there's friends of mine that are in the acting space. And I remember asking one friend of mine to, like, when it comes to theater, mm. right, she was like, theater is the hardest. Mm. It is. That, like, that's, theater yeah, is like, because yeah. on, on, on film, it's like, cut, yeah, try that try again, again, right? But one of the challenges she said with film was mm. to say, the camera does not miss a damn thing. Yeah. So when you look like you are having a long day yeah. and you <laughs> think... <laughs> Yeah. So, what would you say is the the biggest challenges for mm. you in each sector? Yeah, in each I can, sector. I can actually tell you, like with each one, because I've done mm-hmm. them, right? Yeah. So, theater is just that. So, theater, the reason why you can act big, and that's actually our South African soapy style mm. is based on the theater style. Mm. It's like you know, mm. theater because people are like way back there, like yeah. Oh. And they whipped us. Yeah. And they whipped us. Like, they whipped us ten times. Which one is that one? Sarah. Yeah. 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 So, do that. so you can you have yeah. to go big. If you yeah. like, they whipped us. And they whipped us. Yeah. Like <laughs> they, the first thing they <laughs> can't hear. Can you see? Not so what happened with our uh, soap is that they took a lot of those theater actors, mm. and that's why like, again, how many times did you skip a team? No, no, yeah. One, two, three times. <laughs> damn it. So it's also that same big actor. That classic yeah. scene, yeah. The problem is with film is that, and in soapies you don't get this, in film they put the camera right here. Yeah. Mm. It's just your eyes. And sometimes you can't escape with showing the feelings by what you're saying. You've got mm. to feel it. You've actually got to go through it. Can I, where do you, do you have to go to a certain place? Yeah. Do you have to go to a memory in order it to... Depends or, who you are. Like I, yeah. I believe the lie. Uh, acting is living truthfully in imaginary circumstances. Say that again. Please say uh, that's that That's Sanford Meisner. Acting yeah. is living truthfully Le- uh, in imaginary circumstances. circumstances. Which means the only yeah. thing that's pretending is the circumstance. Mm. You're just Everything truthful. else. Yeah, so you're the, you're the truth. Everything else. So if I were to say this place is on fire, mm. that's the imaginary circumstance. Mm. I've got to live truthfully as if 
this mm. place is on fire. So as much as I want to be a steading or a hero, yeah. I've got to be realistic. Yeah. And say like, what's happening? Or do I care about these people? Yeah. Am I saving you guys? There's a lot yeah. of things. And if just you thinking that, the camera reads that. Mm. Jeez. I actually feel like life is like that. Going back to how we're acting. Nah. Guys, I'm, I'm in an imaginary world right now. <laughs> they could be you. Oompa Loompas jumping at him and I would be there. Listen, <laughs> I, am, I am in a world right now mm. where I do feel like I'm acting. Yeah. Really? Like it's just a lot of weird stuff happening. Can I ask, can yeah. I ask, yeah. if, if there was a movie about you, Gigi, yeah. nah, yeah. who, would you, who would you cast? I'm definitely fucking Julia Caesar. Who would you say? Cleopatra. <laughs> who would you who say? You? Yeah, who would play you? Who would play me? In your movie, who would play you? Who? <laughs> That's a Answer. good question. Yeah. Yeah, the older play? me, Angela Bassett. Uh-huh. The, old, the, the younger me. That is so hard. Mm. I play myself. Like, yeah. I, play, I don't know. I just think it's it's just very. I'm 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 not all the way upstairs. Like I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not all the way upstairs. Nobody like, in this room is all the way I'm not all the way upstairs. upstairs. Like, I wouldn't okay. do that to somebody else. Yeah, like, play yeah. me. That's really hard. I can yeah. cry now, get super angry right now, and then <laughs> fall asleep. <laughs> My G, I would love to know, for you, if you were to say, okay, yeah. now we're making a movie mm-hmm. about you, mm. right? who would you say, this person is the perfect role to play me? The kid version of me and this version of me. Hmm. Damn. Nah? Damn. I've never even thought <laughs> I want to say something messed up. I'll tell you this, and I'm not saying this to be cool. I have quite a boring story. So one is, I'm like, why are you making a movie about me? That's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, like, the humbleness. You know, I'd, I'd probably... Okay. No, sir, mm. it's just... I, I'll tell you that mm. the life, my life isn't like got many crazy ends mm-hmm. and flows because that's what you need for a film. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. yes. Shock value. Man, I'd be probably an unknown actor. I would, uh, I would want really? to go... Yeah, yeah. definitely. Just like uh, some, somebody, nobody... I'll tell you what makes playing real life people difficult. Mm. Mm. If I see Denzel, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, the mm. more famous you get, the harder it is to play real life people. The reason why I think people call me Kalushi till this day, <laughs> they hadn't really seen me do anything else. Mm. It's the same thing when they call uh, Rapulana Tao. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? It's like, that's how they. That's, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's I know. Rapulana had done so many amazing films yeah. before yeah. that. Yeah. But what do they call him? Get out. Get out. Get be anybody else. <laughs> yeah, well, it's only here in this country. So I would definitely be, I'd, I'd love for a talent search to go find some some kid. Mm. And also like a kid from outside of like Joburg. Like, let's go find kids from from different parts of, of, of this mm. country. Yeah. You know, let's in okay, deeper parts and just let's see what could happen. Yeah. That is dope, man. Yeah. There's just also something with, and this is not like being weird. Mm-hmm. Let's be weird. I just, I just think that like, where are you from? Aren't you from Lady? Oh. I was born in Mlazi, Kizil. Mlazi, yeah. right? But then I East represent East Rand. Oh, you represent the East Rand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's just a, a very... I don't know, there's a movement that mm. came with the KZN. Mm. <laughs> I mean, like, musically, like, mm. in the past five years, like, musically, like, mm. just within the creative arts, right? Mm. Um, and I'm thinking, like, who are the people who are kind of at the forefront mm. of that? Like, are there mm. people that, like, notable names? Like, how, you know... you. you clearly mentioned <laughs> in, in, in your movement and bringing people other yeah. people who are like responsible for that that we don't know about because there's clearly like yeah. some, mm. a movement bubbling, I you know you mean. Yeah. Bonko. I mean the wife just blew everything I mean yeah. out the water blew, like you know yeah are there people that are just not like put on but like Definitely. shout outs Oh, definitely. The, yeah. Oof, this list is heavy. The uh, Slims of this world. Yeah. Like yeah. none of us, I would even say maybe you. Mm. There's people who who came here trying to make it. Mm. Mm. And maybe they didn't get the, op- they had to pave the way. And then the rest of us are kind of working on their backs. There's mm. so many people. Like honestly, I guess for the whole name. show, it's impossible. Mm. And yeah, that's a, that's a deep question. Because if mm. you go to Blasi, there's mm. these guys who run these acting schools who try to make it. And you see the kids coming from the acting schools going and do stuff, incredible yeah. stuff. Um, oh, I mean, shout out to the Bat Center. I'm yeah, actually thinking yeah, of the Bat Center as a hub, right? Yeah. 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 So Bat many Center, people. Uh, what's the theater? The kids are in. Um, I got a bad memory, too much weed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Playhouse. Uh, yeah. the Playhouse. Mm. But just from Lamont Villa, shout out to Lamontville. Mm. Like, all those places, there's people coming out from there that are mm. doing so much great stuff. Mm. Um, 
even here locally there's like these active these legendary the active legendary actors mm. uh, that have been like that teach for free like there's a lady called Dorothy Ann Gould mm. you know her she's actually like the, she's one more was an Indian actor in this country mm. she's a elderly What? lady yeah yeah, yeah. this mm. lady used to teach me Yonder Thomas Pellens Ladla mm. damn I think there's it's like a lot of us mm. for a hundred rand on a Saturday And let me What? tell you something that was like just so she can pay the rent so that we could do this but she's so now she just teaches homeless people acting so What? that's the lady uh, she's she's like one of those hood legends like we didn't know she's a white lady she Jeez. She, she taught me so much like uh, i used to care about awards until i met her because i came to her house and then i saw these i was like got so many awards it's like they mean absolutely nothing and you know i remember when i got so something crazy. i was like damn she was so fucking right like these things is it really like that no it's so awards are the most meaningless thing you could ever get one is art is not a competition just on the basis it's impossible mm. i'll give you an example some people like mess with young thug i don't get it I, yeah i don't when i when i listen mm. to young thugger it doesn't hit me right yeah but then there's a kid i see listening to thugger yeah he's like in it boy yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like this guy speaking yeah, to, to him, him yeah, direct yeah, 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 you know yeah. so who am I to say thug is good or not mm. yeah when as long as the only measurement of art is if you connect that's it <sighs> and you don't need 10 people the only can... measurement of art should be if you connect that's it so if you just have one audience member so the, that's the problem with, and then it's like who's determining what's good and what's bad mm. Who are these people? We like, don't even know them. Mm. That's based on their personal feelings about mm. you, how they feel that day. Uh, mm. And look, they don't give you awards if you don't come to the award show. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you yeah. don't come there, and that's smart because they have to televise stuff. Yeah. Now, if you don't come to the award show, so you and don't... then your assistant is there to yeah. give you an award, like, I get that. So they're so meaningless. And then I learned through Dorothy because she was she also used to volunteer at a place called Children of the Fire. Mm-hmm. So she would invite her students to come volunteer. And I volunteered at Children of the Fire. And Children of the Fire was a cha- is a charity. It's still functioning if you guys mm. find time to donate and look okay. into it. Look into it. It's mm. young children who are uh, victims of burns, of fires. Wow. Mm-hmm. So there's quite severe disfigurement, quite mm. disfigurement. So the first thing I learned, I remember a lot of them maybe missing noses, teeth, mm. eyes, etc. The first trick the first thing you learn is to just look at them in the face. Because mm. subconsciously, we don't realize that we're not looking them in the eye because we're trying to avoid the gaze. Yeah. So just yeah. the first thing was just like, and a woman like Dorothy and Gould and um, the Manda Dubes and, you know, and all these other great, I mean, mm. heck, man, like the theater, all the guys who've been running theater, these great actors, they don't just teach you acting, they teach you life because, man, it, we're, we're trying to tell human stories. Mm. So the more you give in to an element of celebrity, the more you just connect to the people mm. you're telling mm. stories about. Mm. So if I can't go and hang around with anybody in any place, then whose stories am I telling? It's like hip hop. Like when, when the guys get too rich, yeah. the stuff starts getting like, yeah. oh, water down. Yeah. Yeah. You need to hang with gangsters and hitters, right? <laughs> Oh, you know what I mean. yeah. <laughs> Get the music popping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and another person I've got to mention is there's a guy mm. called Koboga. Actually, mm. I have to tell this quick story. Mm. So I'm, I'm blabbering. There's a guy called Koboga from Mlazi. Yes. Um, he used to have, like, he used to live, so Mlazi, there was, it's like hills. Mm. And his house was there. I used to see him when I was sitting there. He mm. practiced Kung Fu like this. I was like, what's that guy doing? <laughs> So I ran across there and I saw other kids there doing that. There. Mm. And Koboga would teach the kids there how to fight. Like on some Mr. Miyagi. He broke yeah. real, 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 real. <laughs> And then wild. he would, and I promise you, and I can speak for myself, mm. and I can speak for everybody, he never did nothing to any of these kids. He'd invite us, he was just like by his own. He'd invite us into his house mm. and we'd watch movies. I first watched Lion King, Gizuzuku. Yeah. In fact, I watched the original version of Lion King called uh, Kim, uh, Kim by the White Lion. Mm. It was Nizu and all this stuff like that. And he would put us on film and we'd have discussions about movies. So mm. I got to give him so props. Wild. Like he's one of those hood heroes that maybe... Mm. And he's still in the hood. He's still trying his best. The, the hood swallowed him. Yeah. Because he needed to survive. And he was known for being violent. And that's what those kind of places do. Mm. So now I'm actually doing a movie that's like literally called Kawaga. It's an action movie. Just Whoa. Wow. So that's, yeah. Anyway, that is dope. Yeah, yeah, that is yeah, dope. Yeah, sorry, And in terms of roles, right? Is there any specific role that you're like, man, I wish I could be casted yes. for yeah. a role like this? Yeah. What role yeah. would that be? Uh, just on the, there's a there's a guy called John David Washington. Uh, that's um, uh, Denzel Washington's kid. Oh yes, yes. I would copy and paste his career. Uh, it's not you guys don't know about him, whatever, yeah. whatever. Um, but the movie roles he's picked, I was like, damn, I was, 
But so basically, I'd love to do like a sci-fi lead. I like I love sci-fi. I'm really, African really? sci-fi. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the the Man. thing is, people think see future and all this yeah. stuff like that, but. I used to tweet about my political opinions. Then I was like, this is stupid. It's not changing anything. Mm. Mm. So then I wrote a script that expressed it. So I did like a futuristic Western. Whoa. About how I felt about the current government. Yeah. And all that stuff like that in the history. And that was how I now I do. Whenever I have an opinion, like all art is propaganda. So I just put my propaganda in art so I can make money off it at least. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like, I'd love to play like, a, it's like a really cool like what's that? Then there's this one character, but I think they cast Denzel in it. His name is uh, Hannibal of Barker. Okay. Mm. Uh, Hannibal of Car- Carthage. So this guy's yeah. from, he's a prince from Tunisia. During nice. the Roman Empire's greatest like uh, terrain on the yeah. world, where they rule the world, this guy went from Tunisia. Mm took his army, collected people on the back of elephants and kicked the Roman Empire what? in no. Rome twice. No he went way. back and he beat them twice. And that the stories crazy. he tells about how he gathers people and he's riding on elephants. I'm just thinking about this, <laughs> this black brother on an elephant, on an elephant running into freaking Rome <laughs> like what water. Your own hood. That is wow. Yeah, so I'd love to play him. But yeah, that's, that's mm. I like to play. That is crazy. What's your take on family? It's the most important thing in the world. Mm. It's the only thing. It's the only thing. Everything else is irrelevant. Mm. Everything, else yeah, everything is irrelevant. Else is irrelevant. Everything yeah. else is irrelevant. You you know, as I got older, that's what changed. Um, At what point? Sorry, I gotta ask. No, no, go ahead. Um, I think maybe when I was like in my very like I, I left home pretty early, but mm-hmm. uh, and so I kind of always spotted like an individual. Okay. But I think I was like 23, 24, 25. Mm. I remember just looking, I think my work also spoke of this. I looked at my life and I was like, yo, this is going rough here. This is going rough here. And all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I'm not an actor. Mm. Mm. Who am I? Acting is something I do. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I am a son. I am a brother. I yeah. am this, I'm a friend, whatever. And then all of a sudden I spent, when things weren't going right with my career or whatever, yeah. I focused on the things I could control. Mm. Which is bad. Mm. When, that, when I started like, okay, I got to take care of my mother. Yeah. I started doing that and then I started okay, I got to make sure my brother and then I got more involved yeah. my career just started working out mm. and you know why it's because you, yeah. need a, you need an anchor you need I told you a social creature yeah so and it's another thing about uh, I see with this movement with like the red pill movement of like disparaging women and, mm. and saying ah they just hoes trying to get my money and stuff like yeah, that so, yeah. so so what that uh, a woman in uh, might want to be taken mm. care of and have so what Mm. so what so that's if you want to be with a woman like that that's what you got to do that's what you got to do for your family because you, know, you got to provide a man needs responsibility mm. a woman needs responsibility people yeah. need responsibilities and we need people we are responsible to to succeed mm. Mm. no greater driving push let me tell you yeah. something you can either have a kid you can have a yeah. mom need you you can have somebody sick and those people are usually driven the most mm. you know? so I think the people that, that are hurting the people that are yeah bro like well, the moment you got someone to look out purpose. for mm. purpose because yourself is easy. We destroy ourselves every day. We smoke, we drink, we mm. put fucked up shit in ourselves. Yeah. We care less about ourselves. We care more about ourselves. why do you think mm. that is? Like, what, we had this conversation yesterday. Why do you think that is? Why is it so easy to care about other people? But when it comes to caring about yourself, taking care of yourself, that's a whole new different thing. Do you think everybody doesn't care about themselves? Like, I feel like they are, mm. hence the word narcissist, right? They yeah. are people who genuinely walk around believing that everything is about them. Mm. But I know for a fact, because of my circumstances, how hard it was growing mm-hmm. up, I had no time mm. to think of myself. Mm. You know, it was you always that no you have to finish school. Because when's the log, na log, na log, because mm. your dad wasn't able to do that. Mm. You yeah. need to do this. You need to do that. So at the end of the day, I think it's also slight programming yeah. that's happened. Yeah, that's right. on, well, on, been conditioned that way. I, I don't want to say black because they are like, amazing you know people i know who are but i know especially within the black community there's, mm. there's almost this this thing we would say there is no time to care about yourself yeah. we go back to the mental health mm. issue like there is no time to feel depressed there is no time get up and work get up and do it more mm. more worse you know we've had these chats yeah. worse for you know black men mm. you know so i just think that we just don't it's not a thing like yeah. you, know, you, you can't care about you yeah you have to keep the, it moving you know the, there's something there's something that you said Tawo, about family right and i was having a conversation earlier this week about someone with regards to family and how 
I, I feel like sometimes as black men, we push this narrative off. Mm. I'm too busy to yeah. take care of a family. Yeah. Right? I'm going to go get the money. It's your responsibility right. to take care of the family. Right? But I can't, I can't take care of you mm. and make money. You yeah. know what I mean? It's almost mm. like, it's almost like mm. a, a, a guilt trip into, into not, being, like, mm. not being involved. Mm. Right? Do you think that is true? Do you think that is the narrative? bullshit and i'll tell you why mm. look at the jewish community mm. the muslim community the hindu mm. community what's the common denominator these financially successful communities have their families, families. Are together they have massive families they are stay in one house a lot of the time mm. you know they stay together they they, they work with family they mm. live with family they eat mm. with family so that's the counter mm. what we're not realizing is the fr- and to prove it to you that there's actual facts what i'm saying what's mm. the first thing the apartheid government did to destroy black people yeah. to separate the family. family. They took the dad and took him to the mines, the, mm. the family there. He started yeah. another family. Oh, a lot of our uh, generational curses mm. stem from that one move. Mm. That, that one move. That one thing of yeah. just saying, no, the dad's going to work there, the family stay here. Mm. You separate the family. That's why we don't have economic liberation. A lot of us, you keep talking about like, oh, I'm not financially savvy, but where's your father to teach you that? Where was his father to teach you that? Where's mm. your mother to teach you that? Where was, mm. her, you know what I mean? So, mm. I, I think Be involved. Kind of, I'll tell you something. I'm more successful when I found one partner and we had a plan. So our, our relationship wasn't based on, mm. on love. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Ladies, yes. Oh, wow. yes. yes. You know what I'm saying? Is, mm. uh, and it's not for everybody. I'm just saying mm. for me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, me and my partner's relationship wasn't based on the fact that we love each other. We love each other. Mm. It's that we have a plan. A plan as a family. Say that again. It's not based I'm on love. I'm mechanicing my brain. Then, uh, it's, our relationship is not based on love. It's based on the fact that we have a plan. So no matter how our love goes, no matter what we do, we stick to this plan. Stick to the fucking plan. Fuck. Stick to the fucking plan. I need a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a minute because sometimes plan. here's why I'm saying that, right? Is because it's it's plan requires commitment, commi- and trust, yeah. right? Like a lot of trust to say, is this really your fucking plan? Yeah. Or are you just but you build that, you, right? Yeah. You don't like trust. And patience. Patience. Mm. 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 They're going to betray mm. your... What are you talking about? That's another thing is we give up so easily. Mm. Dude, like to, to expect somebody not to betray your trust along a journey is to assume that they don't have a life outside of you. They have to make selfish choices at some point. Mm. You're going to make selfish mm. choices at some point. Mm. Right? So if you're leaving each other because, okay, maybe somebody cheated, for example. Mm. Look at yourself and say, look at this person and say, okay... You maybe made a mistake. If they're doing it seriously, that's a different yeah, thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you're saying, listen, and they like, okay, I was weak. This is the reason why mm. I'm doing it. Whatever, whatever. Like, okay, do you still want to? Do you still want to stick with the plan? Mm. The yeah. person's like, yeah. Are you willing to commit a bit more to stick to the plan, or mm. do we change elements of the plan? Like, okay, do you still want to see other mm. other people? It's like, I do, but I still want to do our plan. I'm like, mm. okay, maybe I'll. Try. Like, you figure out something yeah. that works specifically for you. Guys. Yeah. But the moment you, like what you said, you know, like, okay, do we still have the same plan? Yeah. That's a reason to break up. If he says no, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool, I get it. Yeah. Cool, let me go find somebody mm. who I can do this plan with. Yeah. Man. He planned. I got a, I got a, I got a, I'm sorry, I have so nah, many questions. Nah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, but I have a question for the table, right? Mm. Um, Tabo, from your side, you've been in front of the camera mm. and then you found yourself more being behind the camera. Mm. Yeah. Gigi, you've been in front of the mic. And then being able to say, okay, cool, outside, in front of the mic, this is who I am, yeah. right? What do you think it takes to become like that? Right? To say, okay, is it a seasonal thing? That is to say, okay, cool, this is my in front of the camera season, this is my in front of the mic season, mm-hmm. and now I'm out of this, I'm in tune enough with myself to know I'm not in this season, I now am in another season, mm. right? Or it could be something else, but what do you think it takes to be like that? To say, okay, cool, I'm now this version, mm-hmm. And now I'm done being this version and I'm another version. And then I can go back to being like, you can make an album, leave, go run a business. Congratulations on your new business. Thank right? you we very see much. you. We see I you. I try very yeah. hard. You know. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, but because you're, you have your passion that I believe when you are born to do something, it mm. will always find you. Right? Yeah. It will, you it will, somehow you'll say, okay, I'm now walking away from this thing. And someone somewhere somehow will say Tabo will come and say, you know, you stole my favorite rapper. You're like, God damn it. No like, effect. you know, I'm running a business. Yeah, they and- keep pulling me back into the studio. <laughs> to be honest, you guys yeah, keep pulling me back yeah, into the studio. Yeah, yeah. So, 
So how do you how do you control that? Do you know what I mean? How do you know when to step back? Do you think okay, this is seasonal, or is it a matter of something else? I'm relentless. I get bored. Nah. I'm relentless. I get bored. I like mm. to um, try new things out. Mm. Um, and once I feel like I have mastered something, I go, and this is not coming from a, a place of you know arrogance. No, 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 no. Talk it's to. It's simply him. saying like Put it I on can. The table. I can rap with like guys. Mm. I can rap. Mm. Like, I can rap. Mm. You know. And sometimes you want a new challenge. Like you mm. want to try new things, yeah. or you'll hear somebody that. Like I can't do it like that, but that's really cool. Can yeah. I help you get to the next level yeah. to where I am? Or yeah. can I help you pave your kind of way mm. to, to do whatever you want to mm. do? I mean, one of the first artists I took on tour was Focalistic. Nobody knows Jeez. about that. My new world Come star. On. Nobody knows about yeah. that. Luna Florentino. Yeah. Like yeah. all these boys, yeah. not girls, all these mm. men now. Yeah. Mm. You know? So I think um and at that time I remember it was like, okay, fine, like I've toured South Africa. Mm. Can I like tour and have friends and like we yeah. tour together? Yeah. And then I met Folk and then I met Manu and and everybody else who's yeah. doing amazing things in the industry. So I I really just think it's it's I get bored and yeah. when I get bored I want something new to do. And I that's love just that. it's just it's simply that it's yeah. it, it doesn't speak to my ego it doesn't yeah. speak to anything else. But once I've mastered something I I just really want to do. You want to keep pushing the yeah. goalposts. And even with the music stuff now yeah. I mean I've had a lot of calls from some amazing. Like labels in the yeah. country, majors, yeah. um, indies, and people are like, "Yo, can you like give us back?" Like, this is not an encore thing. When I'm ready, I'm going to do it. Like it's yeah. not a bye bye thing, mm. you know. Um, but everybody's like trying to get me back into studio. Mm. Like I said, I'm back at it, but it, I took okay, my time. Mm. Yeah. How was same thing? Would you say it's like? Yeah, once you've mastered something, exactly a lot yeah. of that. I'll, I'll say with me it's a bit. I just also want to add with Gigi, like mm. Gigi's IQ is off the charts. Mm-hmm. It's like she's got a crazy. Bro. I think people don't know. Come on. I don't know if people don't know. Come on. So imagine the waste of it just going to one space. Mm. Mm. So just already that, mm. like if you have brain power, like she could have done anything she wanted with that. You really mm. Thank you. Could you. Have, you really, you could have <laughs> doctor, anything like mm. that. She could have done anything. Mm. But she went to the space. But I'm thinking to myself, hey, what if one day she wakes up and she's like, actually, I want to be a doctor. All the people I know, you could probably do that. You could yeah. Do that. So if she wakes up in the morning, if you're at home, you're like, yeah. okay, I do this. You shouldn't just do one thing. Mm. Nobody should do one thing. Uh, my uncle, Asuli Ramit, he opened a club called uh, Razzmatazz. Mm-hmm. Oh! Yeah, so I can't, oh, true. Oh, you're yeah. from... Oh. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, he told me two things. He said to me... Uh, and I'll tell you a story about him later. <laughs> he told me two things. Mm. And the second mm. thing is no self-respecting. He was talking to me, man only does one thing for a living. He says, no he self-respecting man. Only does one thing for a living. He's like, mm. one day that one thing will be irrelevant. Mm. You know, and then I, it, it opened up a thing like, wait a minute, it's the same thing I talked about, like, oh, I'm an actor. And I was like, okay, but I yeah. like to make music so I can go mm. make music. Mm. Uh, when I open a company that does this, I want to mm. do that. I wanna, mm. Like, why not do it? You have this one life. Mm. And actually, every five years, every year, you should be adding a new skill. Anyway, no matter every who you year. are, wherever mm. you live, learn a new language. Mm. Uh, and then follow your passions and things. You know, depression comes not from... Not having money, it's not Talk having to purpose. Mm. You know, it's the biggest mistake yeah. people think. So you could be working for a horrible boss, but if mm. you know from like I, I get home at 7 p.m., but in this one hour I get to work on this book I've always wanted to mm. do. Yeah, I like Tadu Tunga. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden you're like, you know, yeah, the boss is bad, but at seven I got my thing. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, you should definitely do that. Um, yeah. that's one. And then the key thing for me is don't mm. it's not enough to understand your job. You've got to understand your industry. Mm. Mm. like that's the most important thing I can mm. tell any young person I wish yeah. you told me that so mm. let me not just act let me just be a cashier mm. at Bochekasi what do I tell you sponsor this in a patent on Kulma anyway so let's say you're a cashier and when people ask me like you know who's gonna get promoted or be manager very easily very very easily mm. if you see a cashier that's tracking the the, the, the product mm. Mm. like every time they see something not just asking if you want a plastic or not but they're seeing okay people always buy this brand of mm. Mm. Washington detergent, detergents right mm. and like but we've stocked up on that other detergent but people and then you ask the man and then that cashier gets up like you know manager I noticed something yeah. you know they're buying a lot of this one yeah. so do we need to really stock that one that person's going to get promoted mm. why mm. because you're seeing somebody who's understanding more than just receiving money give, they're yeah. tracking where the money's going yeah they're now. forecasting so same thing with me as an actor I was mm. like okay something happened where um a film I was I was in was meant to open up like this massive festival. Like it was mm. like, yeah. it was most and then all that to do was have the film ready in time. Mm. 
mm. and they didn't that would have changed my career a lot like wow right um and then i remember feeling so hopeless i was like mm. i can't do anything i've done my part and i have no now you just have to wait and then my process. future is not in my hands mm. so i was like okay mm. i need to understand how to make a movie So then I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to go to all these different uh, production companies. I want to mm. learn how to make it. And I just volunteered. I literally stopped acting. I took a break after of acting. And then I went to each and I learned every department, everything. I'm like, okay, now I know how to make a movie. Are you serious? And I opened a production company. Wow. Now I have a production company and then I do that. And I've got two. I've got the one. Uh, yeah, Discover, with Jules. Yeah. yeah. Jules, uh, Julian Von Plato. Shout out to Discover mm. TV. Mm. Uh, Bookers. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Let uh, them know. Yeah, and then in Gooniverse where we do like the stuff with the Netflixes and Amazons and etc. Um, but there I knew like so last year I was working on being a writer even though I'm a bad writer I was like I'm going to learn how to do this mm. thing this year I'm going to mm. take a cinematography course I want to know how to do something are you being serious? yeah every year I add a new skill every year add a new language that is crazy, crazy. Yeah, no, no, every school every year so that's and then I like I act because I want to yeah when, when people call me I'll mm. say something I never say this I get called all the time I'm like oh we want you in this role and they're like can you come and audition I'm like I don't have to <laughs> yeah. no 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 I'm not being I'm trying to no, be, no, no. not trying yeah. to be weird like yeah. mm. one is I don't want to because mm. I'm really bad at auditioning <laughs> but also it's like if you want me in your project come sit down with me and say yo let's, mm. let's do a thing together let's collaborate mm. because I'm in a position right now I could just put myself in a movie mm. you know what I mean mm. I'm like I don't have to like mm. audition oh. for you I can yeah. do it myself yeah. I'm, I'm gonna ask I'm super dumb no, right. like <laughs> nothing so so for some things like yeah somebody will look at you and be like this person is perfect we're not holding auditions like it is possible yeah, it's awesome. not a, because i can imagine that some people like on the spot mm. yeah like it's 100%. yeah mm. like you know ciphers and stuff i mean yeah. that happens all the time right and then it's just like oh my goodness like i have this fire script bro. Yeah. and you just can't find the trigger word and yeah. then like you're whack yeah and then it's gone yes, so somebody can literally approach you and be like tabo listen like i've got a script yeah. i think you'll rock Yeah, that's what happens. That's how I, so I only do those jobs now. So it's a director. The director sits mm. with me. It's like, "Yo, dude, I'm doing this if you're interested." I do that with actors. I don't audition mm, actors. Mm, mm. My project, really? I don't audition anybody. Like nice. even ki- young kids when they say to me, "I'm looking for I'm like, "Oh, send me something. Send me something on Instagram or whatever." And if you've got a monologue there, I'd mm. check that out. The way I see it, if you can act, you can do any role. Right? That's the mm. key because I can see that you understand how to interpret story, interpret character. Yeah. I just need to be able to see those things. Uh, I've cast a lot of kids. I'm like, you're like, should I audition for you? I'm like, no, just, just I want to see what you've done. So the best audition you can do is you constantly creating content without permission, right? So if you're Ooh. just throwing stuff out there, then yeah. you have something on standby to send to me. There's a famous story that Timberland said these two Swedish girls traveled, mm. they got saved up money and they went to Timberland. They're like, yo, Tim, can you sign us? He's like, okay, cool. Give me a, a song. Like, no, we don't have a song. He's like, so you guys traveled all the way from there. Yeah. And what are we going to do? I was like, we're going to sing for you. I'm like, I oh, know, I don't have time to sing for you. Just give me mm. a song so I can go. Mm. You have nothing. Mm. And mm. so for when people come to you like, I'm going to like, oh, send me something. So are you the saying moment. right now with TikTok, if somebody does something absolutely amazing, because you see a lot of these, I mean, shout out to the Mugele, monologues, yeah, monologues like, yeah. where they create their own stories, like really funny stuff mm. to kids. Chances are they could actually like, Very good. Get around. Look, I go to uh, at the end of the year to mm. drama schools. I go there and I go watch the kids. There. I'm like, oh, that kid's cool. I go to theater. Mm. Like, oh. Sometimes I'll just approach the person in the theater. I'm like, hey, I've got this part. Do you want to come through? And uh, if I have the power to not audition them, I won't audition them. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, we still have, live in a weird world where people are auditioning someone like Jeremy mm. Fuken. It's like an insult. <laughs> like that's an insult, <laughs> like, right? Yeah, that's weird. Which one? There's no respect. Yeah. There, you know. So. Like if it's a Tina talk or something, I'm like, hey, my Tina. Yeah. Invite you. I'm like, I'm just so I've got this role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, you know, because what more does this person need have? to do? I mean, yeah. come on. Like, yeah. what are you auditioning? What are you auditioning? <laughs> like, what are you? Do- he's yeah. like his catalog is crazy. Mm. Mm. So even so, that when Channel asks me for a tape, I'm like, I'm not going to audition this actor. Mm. I can. I'd rather cut a sizzle reel of their parts mm. and send it to Channel. And mm. a lot of times, the channels will say that no, you got to audition. But yeah, uh, so. Yeah, I know running out time. Okay, <laughs> quick one. Um, somebody said something very controversial, uh, mm. on, like um, at an awards show, um, actor versus influencer, like people coming in to say, how how do you feel about that whole? I just agree with that. Did you do you know about it? <laughs> so just have a very back a backstory mm-hmm. very quickly. Um, the idea that a lot of people are jumping into these, and I've seen it also like with music, mm-hmm. right? Where mm-hmm. different people are dabbling in, and I, I don't know. I just like if you're good at it, do it. Like I don't know, but I mean, mm-hmm. like what's your take? Because I can imagine you've studied. Mm. So. No, I didn't. Oh, you did. Oh, no, you no, didn't no, no, study no, no. Didn't like study. that. I studied law. Uh, 
You studied law. Oh yeah, and I didn't finish either. So I I'm have a trick certificate to my name. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> no, so that's crazy. That's crazy. I honestly felt in my head, mm. right? No, no, no. But just to answer that quickly, mm. if Jerry Ntatichiri said that, I wouldn't have a career. Oh, <laughs> I would never go if, if it wasn't giving people who don't have any training and stuff like that I mm. would never go mm. um, mm. and then just lastly on that just to be quick it's instead of that I think that I want to challenge the teacher's perspective on that mm. I would say clearly these influencers know how to build an audience mm-hmm. you know how to act mm. Mm. why not do a skills exchange mm. with these people mm. you know and say okay Cool. Instead of like being antagonistic with him, I'm like, yo, can you show me how you do that? And then I'll, mm. I'll show you how, how, how to do. act. Mm. Yeah. All of a sudden, you have what we call a movie star. Mm. Someone who can act and has an audience. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And you're trading those skills amongst each other. So mm. nonsense, come into the industry. It's very open. Whoever said the industry is not open is nonsense. It's not, it's mm. yeah, Two questions for you okay, be before like, we sign in. Uh, <laughs> if you were to have a sex scene mm-hmm. with any, <laughs> any actress. Yeah. In the industry, locally or internationally, who would it be? Damn, that's a you don't even need to explain why. You should have said that in the beginning. Uh, that's a long answer. <laughs> I've actually written out six scenes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 so if, if somebody comes to you with a role and they're like, yo, you gotta get freaky with Janet Jackson, you're like, Mm-mm. not on my, like if it's like, okay, how's this pushing the story forward? Okay, okay, uh, yeah, that's it. Because we're like, seeing like, a lot of sex on TV lately. Yeah, but for what? If it's a yeah. show about sex, then yeah, yeah. Of, course, of course, of yeah, course, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then it's. Like, but if it's like about like ufan or whatever, and then yeah. now you're just having sex. <laughs> like, How oh, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Last question. Okay. Somebody. Somebody. Okay. You need to look into one of the cameras. Which camera can you look into? That one. That one. All right. Uh, we've got a little bit of a script for you. Oh, oh no. The idea. <laughs> Is that you're super gangster, oh, no, do super yeah, intimidating, no. super real. It's actually like happening. listen, this is a scary movie. Yeah, yeah. No parody. Papa action. Real. Pa- no. You understand, Slim? Mm. And this is what you need to say. <laughs> I dance with. <laughs> that's an invoice. That's a man that's by this paper. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I danced with fairies, you marshmallow. In the most gangster in way. In the most gangster way. Is, I don't have to. Please don't use this clip. <laughs> I'm not going to sign if you guys use this clip. I'm not going to sign the release. I dance with... What is this the line? I dance with fairies, you marshmallow. <laughs> I dance with fairies, you marshmallow. Boom! Do you actually made it work! Don't do that. You made it work! <laughs> oh my God! You made it work! Don't you? You made it work! Okay. I am so exactly. happy. Oh, what man, a way to end it all. So dope. Future plans. So Future plans. What are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? Producing movies. We're producing a slate of movies with Miss Terry Beto. I've Ooh. got a Netflix show soon coming out soon. Come on. Yes. Got a comic book releasing this year. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah, I'm shooting movies, so please. And then check out Discover TV. We yes. just dropped. Uh, DJ sets. We've yes. got DJ sets from the likes of uh, Citizen Deep, DJ Fresh. Come on. You name it. So check it out. Go discover without an ETV. Check us out. And yeah, oh, man. big yeah. shout out to Jules. Shout also, out to Jules. 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 Big shout out to Jules. 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 Love yeah. that. Love okay. that. Thanks for this, guys. Okay, that wasn't bad. The testosterone. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank We've you. learned so much. And a round of applause for our boosting. Thank, you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank it was an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Listen. This was a moment for me. I did say it. I did say it. And what a way to start off. One hundred percent. Love it. One hundred percent. We finally have our show. Right? This was awesome. This, this was, was awesome, awesome. man. This God awesome. God damn. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, do the things at POVXGG, at POVXGG, GG underscore Lemay. Black Slim, where can they get a hold of you? Yes, on social media, black underscore slim, B-R-A-Q underscore slim, Instagram, wherever, YouTube, you'll find me there. Shout out and thank you so much, so much for having Brother, us. We'll see you guys awesome, next time. Man. So dope. Thank you, thank Peace. you. Peace. Right?